Okay, so let's do uh, some showbiz now. And Jacqueline and Soma Yeboa, Dark and Lovely, is here. Hi, how are you doing? That's a new name for me, Dark and Lovely. Uh, and aren't you Dark and Lovely? Well, I am. Uh -huh. So, yeah. You're also Dark and Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we start. But first of all, have you ever cruised in a boat with a feel of theater vibes? Theater vibes? No. I was going to say when I was when when I went to. Uh, uh, oh Jesus, I'm not getting. But it. but but you've I, definitely I, I, cruised on a. Okay, not in a boat. Yeah. But, but yeah, and a small. Yeah, it's, it's not like it's a boat. It's still the same it? thing. Mm. All right, now Latif Abubakar and mm. his Globe production team, as part of their annual getaway treat. For theatre lovers, which happens on the first weekend of the year, thrilled patrons with his play titled Five Hours with Mario, which is a monologue played by Nash Akor on the MV Dodi Princess II on the Volta Lake. My colleague IB was there and has more in this report. Okay. What are the expectations? What are you expecting to get when you get on board? To have fun. To have fun. And yourself? Um, same as well. First time on a cruise? Yes. Yep. Okay, and it's going to be a theater on a cruise. What are your expectations? Oh, that's uh, I'm expecting a good show. That's mm. what I'm expecting. Mm. <laughs> and good food, too. <laughs> the food is actually definitely going to be good. How about you? What are your expectations? Oh, uh, well, I had the opportunity of attending one of uh, drama shows at, uh, what's the name? The Gods to be, not, uh, not to be Blamed. Blame, yeah. And I really enjoyed it. So okay. I'm expecting a more fabulous show here. Okay. okay. Yeah. A more fabulous show. How about you? Good music. <laughs> okay. So the food has to be good, a more fabulous show, good music. I love the, I like the track. Latif is a very good friend. He supported me several times, so I have to be here to experience this. What are your expectations for, uh, I mean, getting onto this ferry? This is my first time. First this time getting on the ferry? Me come to you. I want to go. I say I debut or I was saying on your strategic. You have to be very strategic. This one, I'm scared, but I'm doing shady, shady reasons. <laughs> I wore my nice kitty. I wear all my animal. I took Toto straight to Nyangfala for the award-winning ceremony. I was so happy for my husband. And then they called you. Up next, overall best teacher, Nyangfala District English, Skaska A Primary A School. Give it up for Mr. Mario. That's my husband. And you walked up so proud. And they gave you your award, standing front. All the fun. It was amazing, mm. more than fabulous. So I said it was. I was expecting something fabulous. And it was more than fabulous. Okay. And the food, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for the party. Yeah, I'm waiting for the party. Yeah, I'm waiting for the party. Yeah, the party. <laughs> it looks like you had a good time. A great time. It's exceeded my expectations. It exceeded your expectations. Yeah. Oh. It was very exciting. Well, coming here, did you expect this? Well, I didn't expect it, but it was, it was really nice. And now she was the one of us. Over the moon. Over the moon. Oh, fantastic, wonderful. I mean, um, I was wondering how we would go about our challenge. Now she put it flawless. Is that something you want to come back to again? Oh, yeah, definitely. Most, okay. most definitely. Okay. I wouldn't well, mind at all. I wouldn't mind at all. Well, I think I need to experience that. Next <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a no. All right. Now, after 10 grueling days, whipping up delicious meals for patrons, Chef Abdul Razak Falatu has potentially cooked her way into the Guinness World Record books for the longest culinary marathon. With a staggering 227 hours under her belt, she has comfortably surpassed the current record held by Irish chef Alan Fisher, who cooked for 119 hours and 57 minutes. Though official confirmation from Guinness World Records is still pending. Last January, Chef Filer began a journey to be the individual to be cooking for the longest hours. As a quest, she insisted as being a national assignment. Believe me, even with the 120 hours I gave to Guinness World Records, mm. it was a surprise I wanted to give to Ghanaians to actually do Beyond much more the, than the 120 mm, hours mm, said that. Mm. Anyone wanting to embark on the cooking marathon in the Guinness World Records is going to find it very difficult. This is a national assignment. Many people who did not know her hesitated, but as the hours wore on her composure, her appearance, her demeanor proved that she can do it. People are excited. We are talking about the unity that is brought in the region. So people have nothing to talk about now except violence, cook at all. At 
every milestone, she cried. Sometimes she danced, denying her sleep for 10 days, taking very little bricks and seven mini little mouths that were excited to eat. Phyla has broken a record. This won't be the last time you hear of Phyla as she plans of undertaking several projects. Solid team that will ensure that the success that we talk today will be able to have positive impact on the Ghanaian society. So there are a lot of projects that she'll be doing, she'll be embarking on across the country to ensure that at least she touch lives with the support that Ghanaians have been able to give her. So rest assured, a lot of things will come from her camp. And these things that are coming from the camp are well talked to with specialists, expertise on board to ensure that they, come, they, they, they are brought to um, a successful end. Phyla dripped in national colors. She has completed her national assignment. For Joy News, I am Jacqueline Asma Yeboa. <laughs> A victory. <laughs> Solid. Yeah, but well, netizens and Twitterati mm. have been reacting to Phyla's cookathon as she comes to an end. Um, but before that, Guinness World Record officially re responds and they say they await her um, evidence. And we have people who have also been reacting to the few comments that we have, just as you can see on the yeah. screen. Um, Guinness World Record says we look forward to reviewing her evidence. And well, interestingly, people have also been reacting to um, this post by Guinness world records and this one says and um, when are we getting the results for over for us and to we hope to we hope you accept their works and this one says we will remind you every morning uh, you have a lot of people who have been sending in their evidence mm, after mm. their record breaking now uh, convict esports team says look forward to our game turn soon <laughs> yes definitely uh, but then people have also been congratulating her too on mm, social media mm. a whole lot of messages for well you see fn kojo says seated and are waiting. waiting. So we are waiting on Guinness uh, World Records to come Yes, out definitely. Verdict. So just as we can see, congratulations mm. all over for mm. Chef Fila on mm. social media. People are just happy. Yeah. My take was when they played the national anthem. When I watched it, I almost uh, cried. Very emotional. Well, so that's it. On behalf of all of us, we say congrats to you, uh, Chef Fila. Wherever you are, you've done us proud yeah and on that note we say thanks for being a part of us there's more news on myjoyonline.com